Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Angelica here on the 60 day challenge day 57. Hey, yay. Hooray for that. Well, today's topic is about shock or trauma impacting our goals. Did you know that 65% of Americans, of people, human beings, are impacted by some type of trauma, some type of shock that has affected their life? You know, and when that happens, it impacts our sympathetic system or our parasympathetic system, which are connected to the nerve in our body. And what happens when the sympathetic system is impacted because of shock, what happens is that we fight or we it's flight response, you know, and we don't actually get to achieve our goals. In, in some ways, you know, because when you are in that trauma and that shock, you're either going to fight and you're not going to really be able to solve the problem that you want to solve because you are reacting instead of really responding, you know. However, very few people will have that desire and big urge of making a huge difference because when shock is in your life. I mean, either you've been impacted or someone dearly, somebody that you love in your family has been uh, challenged with something huge and major in their life that it, it kind of stops us, you know, and we begin to fight or we flee. We, we run away from our problems and we can't face it. And there's something deep, deep inside that's preventing us from achieving our goals. When the parasympathetic system is impacted, you know, we begin, it's like you freeze. You're, you, we begin, some people can even do drugs because they're trying to uh, numb themselves and not feel what has happened to them. And, and they're not really aware, consciously aware of what's happening in their lives. Hola Leti, mucho gusto. So when that happens is that we begin to stop moving towards our goals and it's really impacted, you know, and I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it uh, in other people's life where they're in this shock, this moment of like, oh my God, something traumatic happened and they can't move forward. But what I'm here to tell you is that, you know, I have some strategies that I could really help you turn that around and it's through either NLP or hypnosis. I've seen significant and great changes in my life and in my own clients. So if you want a 15 minute session, go ahead and inbox me and we can work on those emotional uh, scars that are there and I'll help you move towards your goals. But I'll just give you a little report on my sister Sophia. She's having a lot of progress and um, and we, they, we transferred her to Laredo, which is my hometown, and that's where I am right now. I'm still here in the hospital helping and supporting my niece, Imelda, Adriana, Isi, and Jose Juan. So keep them in your thoughts or prayers if you believe in prayers. And in some way, we were in shock because um, we weren't expecting for her to have a stroke. We weren't expecting for her to lose all her right side of her body. She can't really move anymore. Her whole lifestyle is really going to be impacted and changed. But her goal is to really begin creating a lot of movement and a lot of inner healing. And we're hoping that if you are experiencing something like that, that you go ahead and reach out and get support. Don't let trauma, shock, or anything traumatic in your life stop you, you know? And, and if you're the one that has to support somebody, then be there for them because it's, it makes a big difference in, in their life or because it did in mine. So Gabriel, thank you for joining us. And, and anybody else who's joining us, thank you very much. And you have, have an amazing, amazing day. Hugs to all, and I will see you tomorrow on the 60-day challenge. See you. Bye.